Hi and welcome to the HTML tutorial using brackets. The first thing we're going to look at is we're going to look at HTML. Now a web page is made up of two things, content and style. And the content is defined by HTML which describes the information and the style is defined by CSS. We're using HTML5 so the first thing that you need to tell your document is that we are going to use a HTML5 document and this can be seen with the doc type tag. Now headings come in a number of different uh, levels and as you can see I've written down heading 1, heading 2, heading 3. To open tags you need to open up using the brackets. What's good about using Adobe Brackets is that as soon as you open up the tag and press enter, it will automatically create the closing tag for you. If you're doing this manually using Notepad, you need to make sure that you close the bracket with the bracket slash and then whatever the tag is. So our P tag is our paragraph tag. This is useful when you have a whole range of text and you need to split it on different lines. The next tags we go into is pretty much bold and italic and in HTML5 we use the tags strong and also emphasis to create that look. So now that that's complete we can now work on the design of our site. We can achieve this by using style tags. Now style tags are a good way to create a style for a certain element and let it appear in your website. The first example here is we are applying a style tag to the h1, our heading 1 uh, tag and this basically means that we're going to change the font size for that heading alone. Now this is good if you need something very specific only for one heading but also you can have a look at a overall style tag and now this is getting into CSS, cascading style sheets. The other example I've used here is our paragraph style and in here we also we have set the font size to 10 and when I save that and when, I, when it previews you can see how the whole document changes. But now what we're going to do is we're going to create an overall style tag. Okay, so in this section here, we are going to set the style for all the paragraph uh, or all the paragraph text in your website to be that font size. And you can do various things here. You can set the color, you can set the size, you can set um, margins, width. There is a whole range of things that you can do. So the width property controls how wide an element is. We can make the width of the heading appear 100% so the entire screen or we can make it you know 50% or we can you know set it to automatic and things like that. Now this is good if you want to really customize the actual style of specific elements. We also look at line height which you know in our paragraph tags it just means how far the lines are spaced away from each other and you can set that and you can also do other text commands like, you know, justify, center, right alignment and all these different kinds of things that you would find in uh, Microsoft Word. So that's it for this video. The things that we have covered so far are headings, we've covered paragraphs, we've uh, also covered uh, highlighting information using our bold and our italic commands. Um, we've looked at using some style attributes and we've also looked at some of the settings in those style attributes. Anyways guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.